Hello, it's a pretty lovely, lovely good evening once again from here in Charlie and hope as always that each one of you are keeping absolutely, absolutely fine, happy and of course in fine spirits. So, results are out and some of you might be definitely on cloud nine simply because of the fact that you have cleared your this particular level and now you have entered into the final phase of your this professional journey. So, definitely a big congratulations from our side and at the same time some of you might be feeling a little bit dismayed because the results didn't actually crop up to your what we call satisfaction so all i can say at this particular moment remember one philosophy of life that at no stage we lose the things correct either we win the battle or we simply learn out of it are you getting my point or not so some of you who haven't been able to actually clear this level should not feel what we call dejected, rejected or something like that. So just you will have to pull up a little bit of your socks up now and take this particular defeat in your stride and prepare well later on. And later on when you will keep on watching the video, I have got some good news even for those students who haven't been able to clear. But right now this particular session, as you can say, titled as Master Planning for Supreme Success. So those among you who have now entered into this professional journey, final phase of this professional journey, obviously, uh, now you will be hunting for what we call your group three and group four subjects and quite obviously some of you might be interested in knowing actually what should be the proper proper formidable penetrative what we call preparation study so that you can come out with flying colors needless to add that corporate financial reporting is one of your what we call formidable subjects and it has got what we call some other added advantage in the sense and it should work as a motivating factor for you that you need to actually pay and give a greater heed to this particular subject reason being is that later on when you are going to enter into your professional arena your value will get what we call enhanced just because of this particular subject provided you have gone through this particular subject and acquired what we call tremendous amount of what we call knowledge then only your value will get enhanced so that's why i told you earlier that this particular subject is vital for you not only from the examination point of view but later on how well you are going to become a successful professional but anyway at this particular moment i would love to actually share some inputs with you how to actually prepare for this particular subject to be very honest to be very honest with you whensoever we are going to actually prepare for any subject especially especially for the final level three things are three things are absolutely just wait actually three things are absolutely vital correct these are in fact common features for any subject you need to have a very good analysis of syllabus threadbare analysis i have written now i have seen also actually many students commit this particular folly of not going very deeply through the syllabus and later on actually they repent simply because of the fact that some question get tossed up in the examination from the topics which they didn't actually noticed earlier while going through the syllabus that's why i keep on actually telling the student especially the professional level student to pay greater heed and greater attention towards your syllabus make a threadbare analysis of that so that later on you should not rue your what we call any such mistakes then next part is once you have gone through the syllabus and you have analyzed it then you should be in a position to segregate into what we call practical part and theoretical part and accordingly after moving over to this particular step you will move over to the third step wherein the target before you is to keep those subject at the highest order which are most important and definitely later on important and other one nowhere i have written on important remember one thing at this particular level you are in final level now nothing is unimportant you need to pay equal intensity and equal focus and you have to stress hard correct equally for each topic but you can definitely give a priority order, no doubt about it. We'll talk about all these things, but that is exactly what this particular session is all about. But before that, let me also tell you, whenever we are going to prepare for a subject like what we call corporate financial reporting, which through my what we call decades of experience, almost three decades of experience, I have seen actually student fraternity uh, perceive this particular subject as a very dreaded one. Correct. Simply because of the fact, if we are going to analyze the trends of the examination later on, we find actually 
that most of the questions which were asked in the examination were nowhere in the module. That means now module should not be the only base for you to actually prepare for this high profile paper. Correct? It is very important that you need to have a course which not only covers all the gamuts of the module but all the parameters and all the areas and squares of the entire course where from the actually questions are being extracted and pulled and tossed in the examination. So a good course need to have a good conceptual clarity that is very important and the good conceptual clarity when I say what does what do I mean by that? It means that whatever course you are having, whatever faculties course you are having, that course need to be extremely potent, penetrative, tutorials, and it must be complemented with latest, updated, well-researched study material. And we take pride in it, that we are going to provide you with most potent, penetrative, in-depth, what we call course coverage, and definitely we have got the latest updated world research study material. In fact, our study materials have become absolutely best sellers. Last time, we could not meet the demand of the students. So much was the demand. Let me tell you why. Because we are the only institute who are supplying four specialized books for this particular course. This is volume one. Just have a look over it. Correct. And the volume one is titled as Practical Chapter, Conceptual uh, Dossiers, uh, plus Illustrative Question Bank. This is volume one. And then volume two, actually, here it is we have kept all the theoretical chapters in it correct and then besides that we are providing volume 3 also and this volume covers all the Indias with lots of case studies remember one thing last time students suffered simply because of the fact that in the module there were hardly any case studies with respect to Indias and lots of questions were tossed up from the case studies so uh, it's those students who subscribe to our course they didn't feel what we got disappointed I'm very sure about that and then accordingly we are going to give you four volumes so you can see these are the four volumes which we are supplying to the student fraternity so we are the only institute who are actually providing four volumes specialized volumes so you can see the in-depthness and the preciseness and the penetrativeness of the course correct and as I said in order to have a good preparation you need to have good resources and one among them which I just showed you quality study material correct and besides that besides that you need to have it because only three because if this is your new syllabus only three past attempt papers you need to do also because only three attempts have so far taken place then a good course also encompasses three phase coverage we on our side can assure you that we are going to cover very deeply correct very comprehensively all in the first phase, the entire what we call module and the study kit and the books which we are supplying to you, each and every question will be done. You can ask from your student, those who have already taken classes from our side, how many questions in class actually we do. Almost every question we solve, correct? And uh, besides that, in phase one, after having covered the entire gamut, entire what we call area, even the minutest one, then we move over to the phase two. Under phase two, we call it actually coverage of past paper questions and RTPs and MTPs. Then under final phase, correct, that is phase three, we hold some revisionary sessions. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. One is Sanjay Wilkins official, I will show you later on. One is Sanjay Wilkins official. Correct. Besides that, I have got two more channels, CMA Virtual Planet and CMA Virtual Planet. One is in Hindi and one is in English. So those among you feel comfortable with Hindi language, they can subscribe to CMA Virtual Planet Hindi. Otherwise, you can subscribe to CMA Virtual Planet English. Besides, my authorized channel, as I already told you, is Sanjay Wilkins official. All three channels belong to I, belong to me. Correct. Now, coming over to the important facets. I told you that first, as a under uh, as a very good part of your strategy you, you need to have a threadbare analysis of the subject correct threadbare analysis of the syllabus also now coming over to the corporate financial reporting correct as far as your syllabus is concerned your entire what we call syllabus is, has been divided into some section and the first one is a specific accounting standard why word specific is written specific means particular Actually, in India right now, at this particular moment, 41 Indias are prevailing. But in your course, we have got only Indias 8, 1, then Indias 12, then Indias 16, Indias 116, and then you can see Indias 21, Indias 23, Indias 36, Indias 38, Indias 102, Indias 108, Indias 113, and Indias 115. Now, 
बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली यू वॉन्ट टू नो दैट विच वन इज द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट वन अमंग ऑल दीज थिंग द टॉप प्रायोरिटी आई विल गिव टू वॉट वी कॉल दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टैंडर्ड डेट इज लाइज इट इज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड टीडियस वन बट वी हैव गिवन इट इन वेरी सिंप्लीफाइड मैनर करेक्ट एंड एस one the sorry this is the india ascended in 16 will command the top priority in the list of importance then revenue from contracts with customers since last three attempts actually we are finding that with regularity the questions are striking from this particular standard so i will keep it at number 1 i will keep what we call revenue from contracts with customer at number 2 and besides that you need to understand that you have a very strong standard that is income taxes and then for property plant and equipment and besides that you have effects of changes in foreign exchange rates you need to actually give them a priority order as i told you and later on you can shuffle between any indias and you can do according to your own feasibility but these are the prominent standard out of all these standard is it clear to you or not and remember one thing as i've already told you we have given a specialized book for the same and in each standard we have covered maximum number of case studies in your module hardly one case study or two case studies are there and lots of case studies were asked in the examination so module was not sufficient to actually those who actually simply banged upon the module i'm very sure they couldn't have it at the what we call questions which were asked in the examination so it is of paramount importance for you to have a course which complements itself with a quality study material then second one is what we call your section b under section b actually you, you will study four practical four practical chapters one is valuation of share valuation of goodwill then accounting for financial instrument and nbfc obviously these four chapters we have included in our volume 1 which deals with practical part then section c encompasses accounting for business combination and restructuring actually this particular chapter is a very formidable one two chapters are very formidable and big actually both in length and importance you can say definitely in the examination you can expect a long question and a short question from this particular unit and in this particular section c we will study business combination i have already told you but the problem is that as i told you student never pay actually any heed very deeply to the syllabus and later on they review actually their that particular decision as i told you just a moment ago so the point which you need to understand is that not only you will have to study business combination actually business combination is covered by indias 103 it is covered by indias 103 that mean you will have to study deeply indias 103 we have covered we have included nearly 60 to 70 questions and 60 to 70 question we are going to do in class that's what actually i'm telling you but as i was talking about earlier that student were are fed up into their mind that you have in your course only indias 103 and that is why students simply actually do indias 103 but problem is that you have in this unit to cover it comprehensively from the examination point of view and to be on the safer side you need to do also as 14 that is amalgamation correct as existing accounting standard as 14 amalgamation and there is another unit another chapter you can say internal reconstruction then only you will be on the safer side correct in amalgamation itself we have included 20 25 questions and internal reconstruction also encompasses near about 30 questions so you can see actually the depthness and the penetrativeness of our course why i am saying so that you have to do besides what we call business combination india ascended in 3 you need to do as 14 and internal reconstruction when you will look into the syllabus you will find written over here difference between india ascended 3 and as 14 and you will be able to get and gauge the difference only once you are thorough with as 14 and then internal reconstruction is also written is it clear to you that is why along with this chapter business combination you need to do as 14 that is amalgamation of companies and the inter internal reconstruction too then we come over to the another formidable big chapter and this is consolidated financial statement again the students generally are told that you have to do consolidated financial statement and consolidated financial statement is as per indias 110 no doubt about that consolidated financial statement indias 110 but in order to have a comprehensive coverage of this particular unit besides this particular besides this particular what we call topic consolidated financial statement which is entirely covered by indias 110 you need to actually do indias 27 also 
India S27 also, you need to do India S28 also and you need to do India S111. Now nowhere in your syllabus it is written you, that you have to do India S27, 28 and 111. So, but you will have to infer it, you will have to conclude it. And let me tell you, in the examination, since last three attempts, question have been striking from these topics with great regularity. That is why I am telling you and cautioning you that why you need to pay a little bit of what we call attention to analyze the course very deeply. Here it is written separate financial statements also. Correct. So that is the reason you need to actually go through this particular unit in its entirety. And if you want to cover it comprehensively so that at no point of time you find yourself lacking in facing the what in tackling the questions. So you need to do besides this in India's 27, 28 and India's 111 because this chapter not only talk about parent and subsidiary, this particular chapter you need to have a bit of idea regarding what we call associates and joint ventures also. So that is the reason why you need to do actually all this India's. Now there is another unit, recent development in financial reporting. Actually this unit has been introduced by the uh, institute and institute need to be complemented for the same. As a professional student, you need to know actually what exactly is happening in the sphere of the accounting, what new changes are being taken place. So this particular unit is basically to acquaint you with the what we call latest developments which are taking place in the field of the accounting. Actually all these are theoretical topic barring one or two, correct? And hardly one page topic are there. Remember one thing we have kept a what we call separate volume for theoretical topic where we have given you in a very simplified form and even you can do it by yourself although we are going to cover even the theoretical topics in the class very deeply. So one among them is 4P bottom line then sustainability reporting and global reporting initiative hardly one one page actually has been devoted in the module to these topics business responsibility and sustainability report and then integrated reporting. Caught among all these theoretical topics, this one is very important, correct? This one is very important, corporate social reporting. Then you have hardly one page uh, theoretical topic, environmental social governance and then human resource reporting. Among these theoretical topics, you have also XBRL and quarterly earning call management. Why I have left these two topics, value added statement and economic value added. These are actually practical topics and that is why we have included in our what we call practical volume. Is it clear to you or not? And remember one thing, in your module hardly one case study or one question is given with respect to value added statement, economic value added, etc. And we have included near about what we call 15 questions in each of these chapters. And in the examination, long questions were asked. If you are going to scan your past attempt paper, you will definitely find all these things. So that's the reason these are practical oriented chapters and you have to focus on it from the practical point of view. And then you have another unit that is government accounting and it is entirely theoretical one. Correct. So this is all about your you know, what we call uh, slavers. Now I've already talked about the importance of uh, the giving the priority orders and I've already talked about what we call India is that which one is important. I will talk about the practical one also. Now this is my volume one here you will be able to have a good glimpse correct practical chapters as you can see concept dosiers plus illustrative question bank and lots of questions we have included for each chapter and here I have included the chapter in priority order itself. As I told you under section one even Chapter number one has been divided into three part, part A, part B, part C, correct? You can see in part A, we are going to talk about at great length and breadth India's 103 business combination, but we are also going to cover amalgamation of companies and then we are going to cover internal reconstruction also. Then only we will be able to cover it as per the requirements and parameter of the examination for a successful waterfall performance in the exam. Then. Under 2, India is 110 consolidation and as I told you earlier, actually India is 102 has been included in your India section but we have extracted it and pulled it in what we call practical section. Actually all these are in priority order. After having done all these three chapters then you will do valuation of goodwill, then valuation of share and then for NBFC then financial instrument and then value added statement and then economic value added. This is this should be your priority order of doing the practical chapters. Correct. Then 
Here in the second volume, we have included all your theoretical topics, which I just mentioned earlier, corporate responsibility, corporate social responsibility, integrated reporting, bottom line, sustainability reporting, then business responsibility and sustainability reporting, then ESG, it is abbreviated form of environmental social governance, and then QC, QEC and quarterly earnings call management, human resource reporting, government accounting, and XBRL. Correct. So these are all your theoretical topics. And then volume third deals with Indian economy accounting standard. Every accounting standard has been flooded up with lots of case study and you will wonder actually you can get the demos also in our YouTube channel. Correct. So these are the indices which I have already talked about which we have included. And besides that we are going to give you volume 4 MCQ. Correct. And these are the what we call details of our course as you know we are giving what we call Hindi version separately and English version separately so English version separately supreme. Correct. So these are the what we this is our regular premium course and duration. Everything is written. I have already told you that we are going to give you with a unique feature of three phase coverage. Correct. And then finally, some of you might be interested in knowing, for example, sir, YouTube channel, as I was talking about, one is Sanjay Welkin's official A O double -F, F official. Correct. And then another one is CMA Virtual Planet. You subscribe to these two channels. And then in order to know the results and the ranks, the genuine ranks of our students, you can similarly subscribe to this particular channel, join this Telegram channel. And over there, you find the views and the feedbacks of the student. And these view bags are not 15 years back. These are the latest ones. Correct. And we have produced the largest number of what we call rankers. This we can say with great pride. Correct. And you will see the feedbacks over there itself. What students are saying regarding our courses. Correct. Because I was the only faculty who gave what we call full fledged solution to the past year papers. A anyway, now in order to purchase the courses and the books, you can definitely contact at this particular number. And in case if the call is not picked up, because it could be a possibility, sometime it happens, you can simply WhatsApp your message. Our staff is going to revert you back. And then there is my app also, Sanjay, Vel Sanjay Velk is learning mobile app. You need to download it. So even though after so much of discussion, sometime a student asks question like, sir, do we need to do the institute's material also? I have already told you, we have prepared material in such a manner that it encompasses every gamut of your module. And besides that, all such areas from where the possible questions can be tossed up so that nothing is left to the chance. So you need to require to do module at all because we have covered everything. How to revise? We are providing what we call revisionary sessions. I have already told you. And in case if some of you are doing self-study, then at least pass three attempt paper and two mock test paper you need to do. What about the doubts? We have got given three level what we call uh, doubt clearings. So accordingly that you can clear your doubt. Then how to prepare for MCQ? I have already told you we are providing what we call separate booklets for the same. And even though if you are listening to each and every lecture, every word of the lecture, you are not going to find yourself what we call lacking to tackle any MCQ in the examination. This I can assure you. Correct. So this is the news I just wanted to share with you. I hope that all these inputs will uh, hold you in a very good state and you must have dr driven some mileage out of this. Looking forward to have your feedbacks. And at the same time, when I started this particular session, I told you some of some among you might have not cleared your inter level classes. Obviously, you will get scolded now by your parents and it happens. It happens with everybody, but you need not require to lose your heart. You can subscribe to what we call our channels. I have already told you, correct? I have already told you one is Sanjay Welkins, Sanjay Welkins official. This is one channel. If you are a final level student, you need to actually subscribe this channel immediately. Correct. Besides that, if you are an interlevel student, if you are interlevel student, then subscribe to CMA Virtual Planet, CMA Virtual Planet. And if you want to join English course, you subscribe to English channel, otherwise Hindi channel. We have got two channels by the name of CMA Virtual Planet. This news is for those students who due to some or other reasons could not clear your interlevel examination. Obviously, you would love to actually uh, have the course at your disposal again, correct to have another crack in the examination. So we are bringing you virtually free classes, free classes, 
for CMA Inter Group 1 and 2. Free classes, both in Hindi version and English version. And in order to know the details, I have already told you that here phone number I have already attached and you can contact over that particular phone number to know the details. Absolutely free classes, latest recording. Correct, not four years, five years back recording. Latest recording, correct, have been uploaded. Nearly 100 videos have been already uploaded with respect to group one, group two. 100 videos for group one, Hindi version, English version, and group two classes are running right now. I think near about 35, 36 videos we have already uploaded. So you need not require to lose out your heart. You can join these free classes. So, sir, are they absolutely free? If it absolutely free, but if you want to actually purchase the books, you will have to pay for the same near about 1,200 rupees you can contact over this particular number to know the details correct so i hope this will give you at least some sort of consolation and you will take benefit of this so on such note now i take leave of you and to the to those who have cleared the examinations once again big congratulations and looking forward to have a sort of what we call collaboration with you if you are going to subscribe to our courses but i can assure you if you are going to subscribe you are never ever going to repent your this particular decision Correct. So on such note, we take leave of you and it's time to say now good night.